Right now on Up With Creme, to mask or not to mask, we break down new guidelines for Washington employers. Cruising for approval. This morning, which cruise lines are waiting for final approval to set sail in 2021? It's a windy start to the work week and the chance of rain sticks around in the forecast. I'll let you know when you might see some of those showers. Wildfire season is now starting earlier, lasting longer and burning with much more intensity. Wildfire preparation. This morning, some tips to make sure your house and property are ready for wildfire season. Up with Krem starts right now. Well, state leaders released new guidance for employers regarding masks and wearing uh, and for COVID-19 vaccinations for their employees. Well, coming up in just a few minutes, we're going to break down the new guidelines from the Department of Labor. Well, good morning, everyone, and welcome to Up With Creme. I'm Tim Pham. And I'm Dana Marie McNichol. Oh, and, and who I'm are you? I'll just Jeremy Lagoon. Yeah, I feel like I'm really close. Like, this is weird. It is. Yeah. This is the first time we've I been able like to do it. we can all do high fives, high fives. This type of uh, okay. news shot in a while. Seriously, this is something that's new for us. Obviously, we can stand closer together because of the new CDC guidance. Yeah, it, it does feel weird being closer to people. I'm not going to lie, but it also <laughs> feels kind of warm and welcoming and a little bit like home. A little bit like normal, right? Yeah. We're so glad. Well, yeah, it is a Monday, though, and this is how we normally start off our show. We get you out the door, and Jeremy Lagu has your forecast to get you ready for the day. Oh, I hope you're ready for it because we've got a little bit of rain coming down early on this morning, and that rain is really going to keep us going for the next hour or so. You can see some of those showers, but notice something else going on here in the Coeur d'Alene cam. You notice? Do you notice? Oh, come on. We're all observers here. And the thing you should be noticing is the little bit of a shimmy on the camera. It's kind of shaking, and if you look close, the trees are swaying in the wind. And when it comes to the wind, well, we are seeing a blow across much of the inland northwest. Wind out of the south southwest at about 18 miles per hour, with our temperatures hanging out in the mid 40s across the inland northwest. But the rain is coming down in Spokane, Coeur d'Alene, Sandpoint, you're dry for now, and clouds starting to build into central portions of Washington. When it comes to the wind, expect it to stick around. That wind is going to take us through the day today. Wind gusts up near 25, even 30 miles per hour at times here in town. And that comes with a little bit of rain. You can see the rain coming down in parts of the inland northwest. Notice Interstate 90 is kind of a line right now. Barely south of it, we are seeing some of those showers. A bulk of that activity staying off to the north. And some of our heavier showers are coming down along Interstate 90 from about Cheney all the way through up and over Lookout Pass does include you in Post Falls. If you're heading either way along Interstate 90 this morning, it is going to be a bit wet, a bit rainy, and that rain will eventually work its way out later on today. Tomorrow, we'll get another shot of more widespread moisture, we'll call it, although it's pretty widespread early on this morning. Heavier rain up in those higher elevations could be looking at a very similar situation to what we saw all weekend long. That's some places that pick up quite a bit of rain and others that just miss out on it entirely. Right now, it looks like a bulk of our moisture is north of Interstate 90, getting some light, light rain activity here on South Hill, but temperatures are set to climb later on today. It's mostly cloudy skies with temperatures climbing into the upper 60s here in Spokane. We'll keep you up to date on what's going on there across the inland northwest in our full forecast. I gotta like it. 70s for the weekend. Well, right now, there's also new guidance for Washington labor and industries. One of the big changes includes employers can now let their staff work without masks. And Brandon T. Jones joins us now live from downtown Spokane with more. Good morning, Brandon. Good morning, Tim. Dana Marie, that's exactly right. Employers can now let their employees go without wearing a mask. However, people who are working in these businesses must provide proof of vaccination to the LNI. This also does not stop employers from still requiring masks. And of course, workers can still choose to wear a mask on their own. The new LNI guidance does not change masking rules for healthcare settings like hospitals, long-term care, or doctor's offices. Neither does it change for correctional facilities, homeless shelters, schools, child care centers, or day camps. A federal order requiring masks on public transportation also remains in place before ending mask and social distance requirement. Employers must confirm workers are fully vaccinated. 
As mentioned, there are a couple ways workers can prove this vaccination. They can do so by providing a CDC vaccination card, a photo of that card, documentation from a healthcare provider, a signed attestation from the worker, or documentation from the state immunization information system. So, like we said, all you have to do is provide proof of vaccination to the LNI. You no longer have to wear a mask once you're indoors at your job. Tim, Dana Marie. All right, thank you so much, Brandon. Now, with all of that information, we want to hear from you. Join our conversation. Would you feel safe in a business where workers are not wearing masks? You can let us know. You can vote in our live Twitter poll right now. Here is one response we got this morning. I was at a restaurant last night where workers didn't have to wear a mask if vaccinated. It was so nice to see their smiles. What a good point. Yeah. I miss those little cues, you know, it's hard to read people's eyes, you know. Yeah, I know that smile really does make a big difference. So now when people are safe, the ability to, to go back to normal life uh, is great. So let us know how you feel, though. 509-448-2000. Join our conversation. Me, Tim and Jeremy. We're having this morning. Hang out with us. Grab a cup of coffee. We always love to do it. Here we love it and we love coffee. That's for sure. Yep. All right, 6.05 now. It's time for your morning rush. More news in less time. Let's get right to it. Spokane will soon be adding larger recycling bins throughout our local neighborhoods. Starting in the next month, the city is offering to deliver the 96-gallon carts to residents in order to manage the rising costs of the recycling program without hurting people's wallets. So the city says they will change. the change will start during the first two weeks of June. On customers' recycling pickup days, if you need to request a cart, all you have to do is call 311. National Guard's troops deployed to Washington, D.C. during the January 6th storming of the U.S. Capitol are set to leave today. A person familiar with the plan told Associated Press the nearly 2,200 troops' mission ended on Sunday. This week, President Biden is set to meet with the family of George Floyd to mark one year since Floyd's death. Family members will meet the president at the White House Tuesday. It looks like lawmakers will likely miss the president's May 26th, 25th deadline for passing a bipartisan police reform bill. White House Press Secretary Jen Psaki says the president wants the bill passed as quickly as possible. Well, the Seattle Sounder, Sounders are setting aside part of Lumen Field just for vaccinated fans. The so-called side-by-side seats are available to fans 16 and up who can prove they're two weeks removed from their second shot. Kids can sit there too, provided they show a negative COVID test dated within three days. Some Sounders fans uh, this was the first big event for more than a year. So very exciting. It feels totally like going back to normal because this was such a standard thing that we did as a family, especially with my in-laws and such. So it just feels like one more step back to normalcy. The news of Washington could reopening on June 30th. The Sounders organization says a capacity crowd in the near future isn't out of the question. Well, after 17 nights lost in the Umpqua National Forest, a 69-year-old man was found alive on Sunday. Harry Burley was reported missing Friday, May 7th, after he failed to return home from a camping trip. After seven days of searching, a team found him in a shelter he made near where he was lost. They actually called out and he responded. Police say he was walking and complaining of minor pain, but is in stable condition. And that's your Morning Rush. More news in less time. Let us know what's happening in your neighborhood by using the hashtag UpWithCrem on social media. Uh, well, we've been testing out some of the Spokane Parks and Recreation Summer Camps for kids. After the break, we're taking a jab at disc golf. Stick around. See who comes out on top. A little teaser. It's definitely not me or Tim. <laughs> oh, no. We had someone text in and say, you guys, I don't know. But hey. It's all about learning something new. That's what summer camp's here for. But if you want to get out and do a little disc golfing today, maybe hold off for a bit. We'll talk our showers coming down as we kick things off. <laughs> 